What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. So you guys, I'm back with another video. I came to talk about Wilson Ramos and stuff like that. Before I do, um, I want to let you guys know why I haven't been uploading lately. Um, I think, well, no, I didn't explain it on this channel. Um, my dad was at the hospital. He had open heart surgery. Um... He had open heart surgery um, on Friday. He had surgery uh, because on Monday he had a heart attack. Um, so I, I was, you know, I was going through a lot of things, you know, with family and stuff like that. Um, but I'm back. Um, he's good. He's coming home today. Um, he's feeling way better. Um, but I'm coming up here because I wanted to talk about Wilson, the Wilson Ramos signing um, by the New York Mets. So if you guys don't know, Wilson Ramos is a catcher. Um, he was on, from what I know, the Phillies, the Tampa Bay. Um, I know he was on the um, the the Nationals. He was he's been on a lot of teams. Just know that. Um, but you know the Mets got him. So let me talk about the negative first, because there is a negative and a positive with this trade. The negative is that Wilson Ramos, if he's not healthy, you know, if he's not healthy, he's not good. When he's healthy, he's good, but he is, you know, said, it's always said that he does get, you know, hurt or, you know, hurt a lot of the times. Um, and, you know, that, you know, he's just, he gets a lot of injuries. Um, but that's, that, that's the only thing. It's really rare. It's not going to, of course, happen. Who knows? Um, but the pot, let's get to the positive. So the positive is, and what I like about this, we don't have to get rid of nobody. We don't have to get rid of Syndergaard, Conforto, Rosario, Nemo. Nobody. It helps us. I'm just trying to adjust some things right here, you guys. Um, it helps us save money, save players, you know, and be smart, you know, with that, you know, J2 Ramoto trade. Yeah, he's a good catcher, but that would have screwed up the Mets a lot because they would have to give up a lot of players or a couple good players that they needed, they need, you know, on their team. Um, from what I see, Wilson Ramos, he's a really good catcher, a veteran, a veteran, um, he, he has a good arm. I, from what I see, he could catch. Um, I know, you know, I could see it in him. He, he is pretty big, like, muscle. Um, you know, from Venezuela, I believe so. Um, he's pretty good. Um, he does, he gets those hits. He's decent on offense. Um, defense, he's good, but he's decent on offense. He's not that bad. Um, he, but he's a good player, um, in general, he's good, I feel like that's gonna help them out a lot, um, because, you know, one, they needed a catcher, two, they didn't even have a, they haven't even had a good catcher in, like, a couple, a long time, um, you know, all we had, all the catchers we've had is Travis Darno and Kevin Ploiecki, and, you know, Travis Darno is just getting done with, uh, Tommy John, and stuff, and Cle Kevin Ploiecki's not even that good, um, but I'm really happy that we got Wilson Ramos, um, I feel like we should get, not, we should, you know, get, I don't know, like, I don't want to say a backup catcher, but like another good catcher, you know, like uh, Yasmin Grandal, you know, something like that. Um, but in general, I like this signing. Um, it helps them out a lot. It's going to help out the Mets. It's going to help out everybody. Um, and it's going to make Mets fans happy that they didn't have to get rid of Syndergaard to the Yankees. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.